This is Father Joe Mitchell from the Passionist Earth and Spirit Center. Welcome to today's meditation experience. During this extraordinary time when we are all trying to find a wise and centered way of moving through the world, we are providing these resources to help you find your own inner courage and compassion and touch the divine presence within. Chris Schrode is leading this meditation session. Chris is a medical doctor and clinical psychiatrist. He uses meditation techniques from various traditions in working with his patients and meditation students. Chris is a core faculty member in the Earth and Spirit Center's Mindfulness Meditation Training Program for personal development and professional application. So now, sit back, ground yourself in your body, and let Chris guide us through this meditation. Hello, my name is Dr. Chris Schrote, and I am one of the meditation teachers at the Passionist Earth and Spirit Center in Louisville. Today, I'm going to lead you in a guided meditation on how to deal with fear and anxiety. We'll start by just taking a very comfortable, relaxed position having the eyes be closed or lightly focused in space a few feet in front of you. And now just bringing the awareness, the concentration to the body simply sitting, noticing the entire body just being present in the chair or on the cushion. Just noticing the body being present in this moment. Now bringing the awareness, the concentration to the sensations of the breath in the abdomen. Once again, noticing the sensations through the entire in-breath and the entire out-breath. Noticing just the sensations without visualizing the breath, without thinking about the breath, without trying to change any quality of the breath. Letting the breath come naturally at its own pace. being completely receptive to the change in sensations of the breath in the abdomen. Noticing all of the nuances of the sensations of the breath through the entire in-breath and out-breath, do the sensations get stronger or weaker? Does the quality change? Just noting every subtle change as it occurs in the moment.
if the mind wanders, to a thought, an emotion, an image, another body sensation, as soon as you become aware that the mind is wandering, just gently without judgment, returning the awareness, the concentration to the sensations of the breath. always returning to the sensations of the breathing, always coming back to this moment, Now what I would like you to do is bring up in your mind some fear or anxiety that you have been having over the last several days. For many of you, this will be fear and anxiety related to the pandemic fear about work, fear about loved ones, fear about one's own health. Whatever fear seems to be predominant in the mind when you bring up fearfulness from the last few days. As you bring up the fear, notice several aspects of it as it arises in one's consciousness. There may be an image associated with it, maybe an image about the future, maybe an image related to something that you've seen, something that you've read. Notice any anxious thoughts associated with this fear. Thoughts about the future, oneself, the past. Thoughts about loved ones. Notice the body sensation. Often with fear and anxiety, there'll be tension, tightness, sometimes in the limbs, often in the chest, in the throat, in the head. Noticing the sensations as they're there. Letting your mind actually rest with the fear, with the anxiety. Noticing what the fear actually feels like in the body. Is there tension? Is there tingling? Notice the unpleasantness. Notice if the images change now. Are there different thoughts? Letting the mindfulness, the awareness, completely encircle and bathe the anxiety and distress. 
letting the mind completely be present without trying to push it away. Maybe noticing the tendency of the mind to want to get rid of it. Noting that as well. Just being present with fear, with distress. Noticing all aspects of it. The sensations may change as one becomes more aware of them. Noticing that and completely being able to be present as they change. Letting the mind rest with the distress. The tendency in the mind is to want to push this away. Just being present. Seeing the true nature of this. What is it like in this moment? How is this fear manifesting in this moment? Allowing the fear and distress to simply rest in the ocean of mindfulness, of awareness. Letting one's concentration, mindfulness permeate every aspect to see it for clearly what it is without trying to change the fear without trying to get rid of the fear, without being carried away by the fear, just being present. If as one is sitting with the fear, one tightens and there's resistance, noting the tightness in the resistance. If the mind becomes lost, or if the fear becomes too difficult and there's too much straining in the mind to be able to be present, it's okay to simply return to the sensations of the breath, to return to the neutral sensations in the body and just concentrate and direct your mindfulness towards these sensations. And once the mind has more stability, once the concentration is better, you can then turn back again and bring up a particular fear or anxiety. and explore with awareness, with mindfulness, the distress and anxiety again.
And again, if it grabs hold of the mind, if there's too much distress, returning to the neutral sensations of the breath, returning back to the neutral body, gently putting aside the fear and anxiety. It is in this way that we work with difficult mind states, including fear, anxiety, distress. We become wholly and completely present, being completely mindful of the different facets and aspects, the thoughts, images, body sensations, different aspects of the emotion, and letting the mind rest there. If the mind gets carried away, or there's too much intensity, being able to gently shift then away from this mind state back into a neutral part of the body, the breath, And in doing so, knowing that the mind is gently pushing away experience, that's okay. Because it's coming from a place of compassion towards oneself, not allowing oneself to be overwhelmed with distress. In this way, one can learn to work with any difficult emotion that arises in your meditation practice. Knowing that one can take a break from the distress if it's overwhelming, but knowing that one can be completely present with the distress This movement back and forth gives one the flexibility in one's practice to be able to go into even the most difficult emotions. Now completely returning to the sensations of the breathing. Bringing intense concentration and mindfulness to the rising and falling of the abdomen. Now you can just gently open your eyes. This is Father Joe Mitchell again. Thank you for participating in this meditation session provided by the Earth and Spirit Center. Please join us for future sessions and go online to our website www.earthandspiritcenter.org to find additional resources.